Hello and Happy New Year. This is Steve Barsic Amstel from High Tech Design Safety, here with key lessons from 2020. Things we learned from working with clients, or already knew, and our clients learned this past year. Mainly on how to accelerate your design and ensure market acceptance, meaning ensure getting your product approved by the lab so you can go to market. We offer a wide range of services, and I'm mainly going to be talking about these first three on the left, product requirements, scoping of product safety requirements and standards, and product approvals. On the right top side, you'll be seeing also prototyping, which our sister company can do for you, and design conformity, which is part of this discussion here today. So from, from those key lessons, number one is know which standard the product must comply with for approvals. Then have an engineering team that can design and draw the schematics and systems such that design reviews can be completed. Engage early so when you start your equipment or product development cycle, you can let us know so that we can develop the scope. That way, we'll work together to tell you which standards to look at. And once you know those standards, you know where you're going. It's going to be much easier to get there. Follow a structured product development path. Know what each step is going to be and how you're going to get there. This really makes things a lot easier. What is your product idea and concept? How does it have to perform? What are the key things it has to do, the essential performance parameters to get there? Product safety risk assessment. What are the hazards in your equipment? Your product's requirement documentation. This is something a lot of people skip but you need to know what are the requirements of your product for your end user. Ask your end users, get their input, ask your engineering team, get their input. Then where we can help you, we can help you on all these other ones too. However, is which regulations and compliance, which design standards and regulations are you going to have to meet? And when you meet those as part of this process, then testing, verification, validation, evaluation, and listing are much easier. I like to compare it to sailing. So when you, your design team and management, the test lab, us, all know where you're going, it is much easier to get you where you intend to go. It's like knowing where you're going and the route there. This place in the Florida Keys I have a chart of, if you were sailing there and knew you were going there and turned us on like a GPS, you would get there. However, if you just put up the sails and sail off, nobody knows where you're going to end up. The other key lessons from 2020 is go ahead and buy the standards. You're doing a product development project, two or $3,000 in standards purchases are cheap compared to missing what the standards have to say. And buy the new standard. And then understand and get training on the standard even if it's just in 30 to 45 minute increments on the current part of the design being worked. So for example, if your team is currently working on the electrical part, on the electrical power panel, have somebody spend 30 or 45 minutes looking at the specific standard and telling them what the key features are that have to be included to meet that standard. Complete a conformity discovery process. This is a 30 to 45 minute review on early design con concepts and can easily direct the project to a much more successful outcome. And I've always been told about this order of magnitude rule. A correction in the design phase, like changing a part number, let's say it costs $10. In the prototype phase, that might cost $100 to change. Yet when you move to production, it might cost $1,000 to change. And when the product is already at market, and it's not designed properly, it might cost $10,000 to fix. Now you might need to add a couple zeros or commas to these numbers, depending on what product you're building. Also be transparent about scope issues, design risks and hazards. If you know what you're building and you think the issues might be, what, what, what are the issues gonna be to getting there? What part of the design do you and your team understand very well? And what do you not understand? And let's help you with those parts you don't understand. Often it's product safety. Be clear about what the hazards are for your product and how the safety and product safety standard are used to mitigate those risks. 
and know for sure that by mitigating those hazards, your product will be better. Your risk for your company will be much lower. And the biggest, biggest thing that came out of 2020 was time to market and cost to design phase are crucial to the success of your company. Spending time to get the design reviews done shortens your time to market, decreases the total spend, and ensures your end user's acceptance of the product. We work with companies from startups to Fortune 100, and you'd be amazed at the difference between the highly successful companies in doing the design reviews and the people who don't. Shortcutting on the design review phase and other phases dramatically extends your product design cycle. Might even close the window for product acceptance, meaning the market might move on. It costs a lot more money and may in the end cause the failure of the product or the business. It might be the cause of that. Here's the other thing too. These blind iterations make the team unhappy. You want your team to be happy because they will perform better. Time to market accelerator for a proven tested path to conformance. Please contact us at High Tech Design Safety. Thanks so much. Have a great new year.